so welcome everybody of uh, uh, in this new episode of uh, Success Stories of UniPD. Uh, we are here with uh, Lucas Corrano and Mauricio Cardenas Rodriguez. Sorry, <laughs> Mauricio, for the pronunciation. Um, how are you? Well, fine. Yeah, fine. Okay. Yeah. It was better Happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so better pronunciation than other people. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. I heard worst. Uh, so Luca won uh, an RC grant and uh, also a lot of other things in his curriculum. And Mauricio won the MS MSCA fellowship. So they are working together in the laboratory. And the first question is for uh, Mauricio. So what are you, what, what's the best thing you learned working with Luca in the laboratory? Well, so far, I think <laughs> among a, a lot of things, uh, I think how to trust in like the team, to be honest, like, it, like that uh, working in the lab is not individual work, but like a whole uh, like whole work of everyone and you need to like even delegate responsibilities and to trust the other people so like that makes a stronger team and uh, Luca another interesting thing working together with new uh, researchers is that uh, even if you are like the expert one uh, every time I think you you learn something or maybe you can you get uh, confused by some new ideas some kind of stuff that that happened with you or I, I actually think that one of the best parts of uh, science as uh, Ma Mauricio was uh, was saying is to work in a team this might be confusing as you were saying Pietro because uh, you get a lot of inputs from a uh, lot of different people um, the the most difficult thing is always to be focused, to stay focused on what you're doing, um, especially with very talented postdocs like Mauricio. You have to force them not to deviate too much from <laughs> the project because they have so many great ideas and they'd like to uh, pursue most of them. But time is always a constraint. Uh, we're always time limited in our life. And so if they want to get the best out of uh, their experience here, they should be able to, to focus. So really my uh, my job in the lab is uh, to tell them not to do too many things, okay. <laughs> but actually to work a little bit less. Okay. Uh, Mauricio, you, you, you won, like uh, we said, the MSCA fellowship. And we know that is uh, that is uh, like a difficult some kind of stuff to, to write the uh, all the documents. Um, so what are your mm, your suggestions for the people who are trying to write or preparing the project or getting ready for this kind of life also? Uh, I think, well, in my case, it was very useful, the workshop that is uh, held by the University of Padova, the, the marathon, they call it. Uh, it helped a lot, especially to organize the, like the more administrative part, the part that doesn't have to do with the uh, scientific stuff, which is uh, the excellence part. Uh, and that took a lot of work out of me because they suggest a lot of stuff. And then I was already like uh, prepared to fill that part. And the rest, it was mainly the idea. So I think, yes, uh, like sitting, sitting down to write, it took me not too long. Well, so what took me more uh, time, it was like actually thinking the idea. So uh, my uh, my advice would be to first of all, sit, get your idea done, get like a story. And then with that, it's easier to write. So, okay, I would say so that. to get organized a little bit. Before yeah, basically, writing. yeah, to get the idea in your mind. And then you can it's, instead of start writing, at least that's what works for me. So I don't know if uh, okay. But maybe look, I have some advice in this field too, because not specific in MSCA, but the writing the project is always like. I think that Mauricio grasped the, the, the central point. Writing a grant is like, uh, be it uh, Marie Curie or a different grant, is always like writing a, a novel. So before writing the final one, sketch it out. Write down uh, the ideas that you want to pursue, uh, that you want to address in your proposal. Um, uh, outline the structure of what your proposal is going to be. Uh, put down all the major points that you would like to address, and then uh, things are gonna uh, follow. So it, it's it's going to be it's going to be much easier if you have a clear structure in mind. This doesn't mean that uh, you won't change it when you actually see it uh, written down. Uh, you probably are gonna change it uh, several times. 
but if you uh, if you don't have a clear structure in mind before you start, uh, then things are going to be way more complicated. In the case of Marie Curie, this is uh, the complication is uh, is uh, even bigger because, uh, as Mauricio was saying, um, you also have to take into account uh, some uh, parts that normally, as a scientist, you you don't think of, um, like the impact, the dissemination of uh, your uh, of your studies, how you how to engage the uh, the public. And uh, in this respect, the help of uh, a nicely organized structure like the one that we have here at the University of Padua um, is, is, is really great. Um, I, I suggest everybody who is in, interested in uh, uh, getting their uh, postdoctoral studies uh, here uh, and they are interested in uh, actually moving to Padua supported by uh, Marie Curie um, to contact the, our office because they are uh, fantastic. They give a lot of support uh, and they really know all the details that make uh, them turn uh, a great proposal into a successful proposal, which is what we would really like to have. Okay, thanks. So we are collecting uh, um, good works and good ideas. Uh, and so you, you, are, you are welcome to, to, to follow our, our, our projects also, like the, the marathon we mentioned. And Mauricio, we know that also the li lab life could be, I will not say funny, but there's plenty of activities going on there with the colleagues. And uh, maybe you could tell us uh, an episode or not a very scandalous one or something, but <laughs> it not happened in the lab because we know that working together uh, could be interesting, let's say. Yeah, no, I, uh, first of all, I would say, yes, it's fun because at least for me, I enjoy going there every day and especially with the team that we have uh, like with all my the lab mates. It's very, very nice atmosphere. So for me, yes, it's always like uh, very nice to go there. But if I had to say one, probably when it was still the uh, the curfew that at six things were closing, so we were just hanging uh, uh, out like outside in the the street, uh, having some beers, and then at some point around nine or something, it was like a, like a raid. So just the police came and everyone just fled, <laughs> and I went like oh, I, you, I I will not escape. So I started just to collect the, the bottles. So they thought like, oh, it's a nice guy, no? So just <laughs> keep doing it. It's finish, a nice guy from the lab. Finish see? and then <laughs> <Okay>. leave. <laughs> so yeah, at that time, uh, the, all the solidarity just went away when we saw the police. <laughs> boom, everyone <laughs> spread over. But, yeah. Okay, maybe look at Mauricio. Your, Mauricio yeah. is being um, very considerate in uh, in uh, what he's telling. Um, first of all, I didn't know that they were caught by the police uh, during <laughs> curfew. Uh, and they uh, were this doing is, nothing bad. Okay, and this, is, and this bad. is very bad because, uh, you <laughs> know, they, 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 uh, so, uh, uh, but I think that, uh, you know, the lab is a, is a nice community. I'm, I'm pretty happy uh, about the people and the personalities that we have uh, in the lab. Um, we even, uh, uh, we were having a scientific retreat uh, this July in, uh, with uh, other labs. Uh, in uh, in Tuscany, uh, and uh, we even watched uh, the Euro final. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, okay. All together. Now it's getting complicated. Uh, okay, okay. This this <laughs> was this was a lot of fun for all of us except for our <laughs> British uh, oh, PhD student oh, who was sorry. definitely unhappy. <laughs> 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 but all the others, I think that they they were very happy. Plus the Mexican flag is almost like the Italian yeah, one, yeah, so, so <laughs> he had to root for it. <laughs> the lab is a very international place. I think that we are. Of like four Italians uh, out of 22 yeah, or probably. something like this yes so uh, it's mostly uh, people from abroad and so they uh, they create a, a very strong community um, sometimes they also invite me but uh, not so often only when there is uh, when a lot of booze to pay okay yeah, probably probably <laughs> the yeah. is not involved <laughs> <laughs> hope so <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, one last question for you guys uh, maybe starting with Luca I don't know if in the biology field or in general you have so one particular advice for the people who wants to join like the the researchers life which be which can be very fun but also complicated it's yeah we know that so maybe you have one advice to uh, give us i'm going to actually mention two words the first one is the scientific question actually it's it's a phrase it's not a word it's a preposition 
And the second one is perseverance. Um, you need to be perseverant because it takes a, a, a really a long time to understand what uh, you're doing and to uh, generate uh, meaningful results and to interpret the secrets of life uh, in a meaningful way. And the biological question is uh, crucial. You can always learn the new technique, but you need to to have an unsolved problem that you wish to address. Uh, that should really be an important one. Uh, you 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 get trained mostly during your postdoc. I had a fantastic postdoc uh, mentor. I did my postdoc in the states, and he was all about which question are you going to address uh, next. And I hope that I'm trying to to pass this advice to the postdocs in my lab now. Okay. Mauricio, it's, it's your turn in the biology side or in general, you are like more, let's say, fresh in the world, in <laughs> this world, so. Yeah, I think first of all, uh, it's always mentioned, as you say, that it's like hard or like so complicated, you said, I think. I think it is, but everyone mentions only that and not the other part. And I think that's part of why also people that are not in, in the field tends to think like uh, like in the TV or the scientists are the guys that are all 24-7 uh, on okay. that, etc. And yes, sometimes like the mind, but it's also super enjoyable. And I find amazing, for instance, what Lucas said that uh, it's like, uh, yes, looking for the secrets of life, of our own life, how we work, how we function, how everything does. So it's like super amazing. And I think instead of being like uh, scared of getting into this, is like uh, like of course it will take uh, effort because everything does probably this more. But I mean, being conscious what you're going into, and then uh, with that also enjoy, you know, because yeah, it will be a lot of uh, like in our case negative results. But then okay, then it's always the next day, and then you do it again, and then you keep going, and then keep enjoying. So for me, the an advice would be just to enjoy and be aware, but it's it's a fantastic, uh, a beautiful uh, career. So just go for it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So thank you very much, Luca Mauricio. You were precious, precious idea to to share with us. Thanks, and Peter. see you at the lab or at the bar. I don't know. We, we can we can decide. <laughs> see him at the bar. Okay. See me in the lab. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank bye, you. bye. 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 Oh.